हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ प्योर सब्सटेंस स्पेसिफिकली द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सुपर हीटेड स्टीम दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फाइव इन लेक्चर वन वी डिस्कस द बेसिक्स आर फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स and lecture number 2 we discuss the properties of pure substance generally and in lecture number 3 we discuss about the steam tables that how we can pick the properties different properties specially specific properties specific volume specific entropy specific internal energy and other properties like temperature pressures for dry saturated steam and superheated steam we learned about the picking of these properties from those tables in detail in lecture number 3 and in lecture number 4 we discussed about the properties of dry saturated steam are only dry steam are wet steam many terminologies can be used for the dry saturated steam it is also called wet steam in this lecture the focus is on the properties of superheated steam so the objective of this lecture is to evaluate the properties of superheated steam and to discuss the solved examples related to the properties of superheated steam so first of all what is superheated vapor or superheated steam so in the region to the right of the saturated vapor line and at temperatures above the critical point temperature a substance exist as superheated vapor as we have already discussed different three regions on ts rtv diagram this is the dome or the wet loop this was the saturated liquid line sl l and this is the saturated vapor line so this was sub cool region or compressed liquid region this is wet region and this is the superheated region so the region to the right of the saturated vapor line is actually the superheated region and the state of steam in that region is called superheated steam specifically generally we can say that superheated vapor so since the superheated region is a single phase region vapor phase only temperature and pressure are no longer dependent properties and they can conveniently be used as the two independent properties in the tables or in the steam tables so this is the picture of the table a6 which is about the properties of superheated steam this is the partial listing of properties specific volume specific internal energy and specific enthalpy this is the temperature and this is the pressure accordingly here temperature is given this is the saturation temperature represented with t is a t at 0.1 mega pascal and at various values of temperature we have different values of specific volume specific internal energy and specific enthalpy also at 0.5 mega pascal we have different values of these properties on various values of 
temperatures. So this is the basically tabulated form of properties of superheated steam. Compared to saturated vapor, superheated vapor is characterized by lower pressure means that pressure will be less than saturated pressure or saturation pressure at a given temperature. This is actually the criteria for the state of superheated steam. So the temperature T will be higher than the saturation temperature at given pressure and there will be higher specific volumes at a given pressure or temperature. This VG is actually the saturated vapor line properties. At this line we have different properties for example VG, UG and HG. At and on this line to the left we have properties which is VF, UF, HF. We have discussed these properties as well in the previous lectures but this is just for revision. Higher internal energies. So the internal specific internal energy of the superheated steam will be greater than the specific internal energy of the saturated vapor at given pressure and temperature. Higher enthalpies means that enthalpy of the superheated steam will be greater than the saturated vapor enthalpy at a given pressure and temperature. Here is an example example 3.6 uh, we are trying to determine the internal energy of superheated vapor so in this problem we are going to determine the internal energy of water at 20 psi and 400 degree Fahrenheit so at these conditions we will use the table superheated steam table in which the temperature is mentioned in degree Fahrenheit and the pressure is mentioned in PSI. So this kind of table will be visited to solve the problem. So at 20 PSI we have saturation temperature which is 227.92 degree Fahrenheit so if we absorb so the temperature here 400 degree Fahrenheit is greater than this temperature and this is the saturation temperature so we see that this temperature 400 degree Fahrenheit is greater than this temperature means that the temperature of the steam is greater than saturation temperature. So we can say easily that the state of the steam is in this superheated state. So the water is lying in the superheated vapor region. So the internal energy can be read from the steam table. That table is table A6E and we can pick the value of the specific internal energy from that table at pressure 20 psi and 400 degree Fahrenheit and the value comes out 114.1 BTU per pound mass. So the unit here is BTU per pound mass mentioned in the table accordingly. So this is the required thing which we have to find in this 
problem and that is specific internal energy of the superheated vapor which is 1145.1 BTU per pound. Now this is second example related to the properties of superheated vapor. In this specific problem we are required to determine the temperature of water at state pressure is equal to 0.1 mega Pascal and H is equal to 2890 kilojoule per kilogram. So at these conditions pressure is equal to 0.5 mega Pascal and H is equal to 2890 kilojoule per kilogram. We have to find the temperature of superheated vapor. So for this kind of problem uh, we will visit the steam tables of superheated vapors in which pressure is mentioned in mega Pascal or kilo Pascal or simply in Pascal we can convert Pascal into kilo and mega Pascal as well and the enthalpy value is mentioned in kilo joule per kilogram. So before going to the superheated vapor let's check the state of the vapor from the dry saturated tables. So when we go to the dry saturated tables in that we note that the value of saturated vapor specific enthalpy has the value which is 2748.1 kilojoule per kilogram. So here it is obvious that the value of H which is 2890 kilojoule per kilogram. So this value is greater than this value which is 2748.1 kilojoule per kilogram. So we can predict that the state of vapor is in the superheated state because H is greater than Hg. So visiting the table of superheated steam we have temperature 200 degree centigrade and temperature 250 degree centigrade. So on this temperature we have specific enthalpy values which is 2855.8 kilojoule per kilogram and at 250 degree centigrade we have the value which is 2961.0 kilojoule per kilogram. Here we have given the value which is 2890 so this value lies in between these values. So we will use the method of linear interpolation so by doing linear interpolation we can find the missing temperature at these conditions P is equal to 0 0.5 mega Pascal and H is equal to 2890 kilojoule per kilogram. So from this we can find the value of temperature which is 216.3 degrees centigrade. So if we mention the state of the superheated vapor on TH diagram so we can show the value or the state of the superheated steam. This is the state which is 0.5 mega Pascal and this has the value H which is 2890 and here we have found or determined the temperature and it has the value of 216.3 degree centigrade. So this was the required temperature which we have asked to find in this problem. So this is all about the properties and, and evaluation of properties of superheated steam. In next lecture uh, we will discuss the properties of ideal gas are perfect gas. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. 
प्लीज लाइक एंड कमेंट ऑन माई वीडियोज ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट न्यू वीडियोज